After not being able to travel internationally for about three years, I was finally able to go again to the country I missed the most. But I didn't just want to stay on Bali as I did many times before. I knew that Indonesia has much more to offer and as I didn't travel for so long, I really needed some adventure. It sounded like a four-day liveaboard from Flores to Lombok was a good idea. The trip started with a visit to a fisherman village to see how the locals live. Probably not the reason you come for, but definitely one of the activities you will never forget. If you have luck, you can also see your first Komodo dragons here. The night view from the boat at the end of the day was amazing and I was even able to get a shot of the Milky Way. Yes, handheld. However, I was super excited to show the photo to Gao, so I rushed down the stairs, fell down and injured my leg. It looked pretty bad, so much that I thought I couldn't do the hike the next morning. Now, I was able to hike the mountain on Pedder Island, but my bad luck continued. The DJI Avada crashed and I wasn't able to fly it again on this trip. That was frustrating as there were many shots I wanted to get with it. But at least it didn't land in the ocean and I had no time to be miserable about it anyway, because our next stop was Commodore Island. After all the activities on the first two days, we finally got a ton of time to relax as 15 hours of sailing was in front of us for the next stop. That was really needed and actually a fun experience. Our trip ended with a beautiful sunrise on Kinawa Island. 
This island is tiny but perfect to take photos, especially if you go in the morning. I really enjoyed this trip and it has shown me once again how important it is to focus on the positive and live in the moment. Incidents like getting injured and breaking a drone on its first real flight suck, but we have to accept them as part of the fun and eventually things will go better in the future. Hey, thanks for watching. There are two more things that you might be interested in after watching this video. At first, can I recommend the company Vanua Adventure that I did the trip with and how I color graded this video if you're into camera stuff. And at first, when it comes to Vanua Adventure, I can absolutely recommend them. I actually didn't expect too much. I mean, the trip costs somewhere around $200. I got it a bit cheaper to be transparent here. But in that price range, of course, you're not looking for luxury. But we actually had a lot of fun on this trip. The food was really good and sleeping on the boat was actually better than expected. So the tour is very recommended and actually saves you a bit of money because you don't have to book two flights from Bali to Flores and back. And you can also combine it with a trip to Nusa Penida or Nusa Lembongan after that because these islands are quite close to Lombok. But let's talk about the color grading now and it was actually super easy because I used a plugin called Film Convert. You will find that for DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut and Adobe Premiere. And it's super straightforward you just select your camera and picture profile, so in my case Fujifilm X-H2S F-Log2 or DJI Mavic 3 and D-Log and then it automatically converts the colors to film colors. It's kind of film simulations in Fujifilm cameras and after that of course you make a few more tweaks to your exposure, saturation, white balance and tint and you can also go even further by adjusting your film curve that's especially useful if your shadows are a bit too dark, that happens quite often and after that you already have a look that you could take as it is. I do two steps more after that. I apply a finishing nut that I'm currently working on. You will find that in a few weeks on my shop and that like gives it a bit more of an orange and tea look which I prefer and after that I did what I made a video about two weeks ago which is the glow effect in DaVinci Resolve because that always puts the sherry on top. Your shots always come, come out so much better with that. So if you're interested in how that works just check out the video here in the corner and I also made a video about Film Convert a few months ago that you will also find here directly so there you learn a bit more about it and aside from that of course if you enjoyed this video please leave me a like and consider subscribing for upcoming videos.